This is my experience riding my first Gran Fondo of 2022. The race is in Breda and it has three courses for 75, 110, 150 kilometers and I'll be riding the 150 kilometers one. There are a few cobble sections, there are crossing the borders with Belgium a few times and there are rest stops every 40 kilometers. First, I need to reach the starting line. Since I don't have a car, I have to do this by train. The Dutch way was a very comfortable, but sometimes you need to read some bad words. After a short ride, I can get to, to the starting line, pick up my number and start the race. Due to Covid regulations, we don't start all together, but you start when you want. And I'm okay with that, because it's a very very cold day, even if the sun is shining. It was snowing until yesterday, and this is gonna play a role for the rest of the race. I'm racing alone, so if I see a group in front of me, it's convenient to put some effort to catch them, shelter from the wind, and then pace the race with them. I have wider tires on my bike and this is very convenient for the gravel path and to tackle the cobbles and I can really see that I'm catching the group in front of me. I finally catch this group of two and I'm feeling really good so I decide to give a little bit of a pull, I rotate with them, we are great, we also start catching new groups. Then we hit this nasty section of cobbles that shred the group apart and I remain kind of alone. The only people left are this couple. They are riding at the right speed but they really do not want to rotate. I try to go in front of them, they don't follow and they really don't want me behind me. So after seeing this weird house, I let them go and start enjoying the scenery. After the third rest stop, I find myself a new duo to follow. The first guy is running the 75 km one and we lose him in a little bit and the other guy is running the biggest possible gear but they really feel really good so I start giving very consistent pulls and we rotate, we are very functional and really happy. As every good thing though, also this one comes to end and I find myself alone again. I just take the opportunity to film a little bit more. The wind is not stopping, it's gonna be problematic. The wind is indeed a problem, but luckily I get passed by this group of gigantic people with very fancy bikes. I decide to hop on their wheel and get shelter from the wind. A few minutes later we reach the second rest stop at the 80 km mark. That is where the 120 and 150 km race split. Since it's very very cold, I cannot stop for too long, so I start going before everyone else. You cannot really tell from the video, but here I get the first seat to my spirit. For a brief amount of time, it starts snowing. If it looks like the weather is changing very quickly, it is because it does. And this is because I'm riding in a very strong headwind. I was hoping to get caught by the group of gigantic people so that I could shelter from the wind, but they never caught me. And this is because they were doing the 120 km race. So here I get the second hit to my spirit, the fact that I'm alone. The wind is breaking me, it's breaking me. Riding with a broken spirit is much more difficult, so I have to use some positive self-talk. Alright, 30 kilometers to go. I just have to keep pedaling and I'm and I'm done. Just pushing the pedals and that's it. Easy. I 
I was definitely suffering, but the spring color gives me more energy. Although, there are still some signs that I'm losing my mind. This trade never end, but luckily I meet this absolute legend and we start rotating up until the finish line. And after all this suffering, even though it's not a race, it feels really good to be cheered. These events are really made for people coming by car that have with them a, a change of clothes. So at this point I'm really freezing and uh, therefore I drink my beer very quickly and jump back on the train to head back to Rotterdam. I'm really happy that I could finish the race with the cold, with the wind, with the cobbles in six hours, which was the goal that I set for myself at the beginning of the race. For sure I didn't consider that after a day of riding the bike in that conditions, the climb in the Erasmus Brook would have felt extra hard. But hey, first Grand Fondo of the year is in the bag. Cheers!